Have you ever heated up a late night snack or a cup of coffee in the microwave and noticed that tiny mesh embedded in the door? You might not think much of it. After all, it's just part of the appliance, right? But that seemingly simple grid isn't just a random design choice or a manufacturing quirk. It's actually a vital safety feature, one that's rooted deeply in the physics of electromagnetic waves and the way microwaves cook your food. In this video, we're going to explore why that mesh is there, what it does, and how it keeps you safe every time you use your microwave. So let's open the door, figuratively, and peek into the science behind it. Let's explore, right here, on History of Simple Things. To understand the mesh, we first need to understand how a microwave oven actually works. Microwaves cook food using, you guessed it, microwaves, a type of electromagnetic radiation. These waves are a form of energy, just like visible light, infrared, ultraviolet, and X-rays. But microwaves occupy a specific frequency range, typically around 2.45 gigahertz in household appliances. At this frequency, the waves are especially effective at exciting water molecules, causing them to vibrate rapidly. This vibration generates heat through friction, which then cooks or heats your food from the inside out. That's why microwaves are great for reheating leftovers or popping popcorn in just a few minutes. The heart of the microwave oven is a component called the magnetron, which generates the microwave radiation. Once the waves are produced, they are funneled into the cooking chamber where your food sits. But here's the key point. Those microwaves don't magically stop once they've reached your food. Left uncontained, they could keep bouncing around, potentially escaping the oven. That's where the metal walls and the mesh covered door come in. The interior of the microwave is essentially a Faraday cage, a structure designed to contain electromagnetic fields. The walls reflect the microwaves back toward the food, ensuring efficient cooking and preventing radiation from leaking into your kitchen. But what about the door? The door is a unique challenge because you need to see your food while it's cooking. Nobody likes to play microwave roulette. To achieve this visibility while maintaining safety, microwave manufacturers Use a special type of screen, a transparent window with a layer of metal mesh, often called a Faraday shield or mesh screen. This mesh may look like a simple pattern of holes, but it's actually engineered with incredible precision. The holes in the mesh are carefully sized and spaced to block the 2.45 gigahertz microwaves from escaping. In fact, the holes are much smaller than the wavelength of the microwaves, which is about 12.2 centimeters. Because the holes are so small, typically less than a millimeter in diameter, they prevent the microwave radiation from passing through while still allowing visible light, which has a much shorter wavelength, to get through so you can see your food. So, in essence, the mesh acts as a filter. It lets visible light out so you can watch your burrito spin in the center of the oven, but it keeps the more dangerous microwave radiation trapped inside where it belongs. This is an application of a concept from physics known as the waveguide cutoff. The holes in the mesh are smaller than the cutoff for the microwave frequency, meaning the waves can't propagate through them. You could compare it to trying to push a beach ball through a chain link fence. It just doesn't fit. On the other hand, light waves are small enough, more like grains of sand, that they easily pass through. The mesh isn't just theoretical science either. It's a regulatory requirement. Microwave ovens are tightly regulated by safety standards particularly by agencies like the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, FDA, which ensures that any leakage of microwave radiation is well below levels that could cause harm. 
Even the hinges and seals of the door are carefully designed to prevent any microwaves from sneaking out. So the next time you open that door mid-cycle, don't worry, most microwaves cut the magnetron power instantly. It's thanks to layers of engineering and testing that ensure your safety. Another interesting aspect is that the mesh doesn't interfere with the cooking process. Since the microwaves reflect inside the oven and are absorbed primarily by food molecules, the presence of the mesh doesn't hinder the energy delivery to your meal. And although the door might seem like a weak point in the enclosure, it's actually one of the most carefully designed components. The mesh is often bonded between layers of glass or plastic for durability, and sometimes it's even coated to prevent corrosion from food splatters or steam. You might also notice that, depending on your lighting, it can be a little hard to see through the mesh. That's an optical effect. Your eyes focus on the reflective outer layer, not the inner cooking chamber, especially in low light. But here's a fun thought. What if the mesh weren't there? Could you still use the microwave safely? The short answer is no. Without the mesh, microwaves would leak out of the oven, potentially exposing you to radiation that could heat your skin or eyes. While a brief exposure at low levels might not cause harm, chronic or high-level exposure could be dangerous. There's a reason microwave ovens are carefully shielded. 2.45 gigahertz waves can penetrate human tissue to a degree, and although they don't ionize atoms like X-rays do, they still pose a thermal hazard. That's why even a small tear in the mesh or a broken door should be taken seriously. Your microwave should be repaired or replaced if there's any sign of damage. The mesh on the door of your microwave is a prime example of invisible engineering, literally and figuratively. It's a clever solution that balances safety with usability, grounded in physics, and tested to rigorous standards. While it might look like just another part of your kitchen appliance, it's actually a tiny barrier that stands between you and a form of energy powerful enough to cook your food in minutes. So the next time you watch your leftovers spinning behind that perforated screen, remember, it's not just a window into your microwave, but a window into the science that makes modern life both convenient and safe. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.